This is the U.S. Meal Halal Individual. It's issued to U.S. service members on strict religious diet. Also, the Meal Halal gets used on joint operations with Muslim practicing soldiers of other countries. And say, for instance, on a training mission with Saudi Arabia. And these were issued to Kurdish forces in Syria. U.S. troops often enjoy these as well. Anything to break up the standard MRE menu fatigue. And just like the U.S. MRE, the meal halal comes 12 to a case. But these come in only 12 separate menus instead of 24. It weighs 1 pound 9.9 .9 ounces or 734 grams. And I found that these contain an average of about 1,350 to 1,400 calories. So let's give it a look. This one's sog chile with lamb. Okay, so right on the top here is a shortbread cookie. FRH. The FRH was produced the 35th day of 2019. So this thing's only a year old. Accessory packet. Cranberry trail mix. Never seen that before. There will be a couple unique items to this ration. That's one of them so far. Tropical punch beverage base. Dry roasted peanuts. Oh, nice. That right there. Everybody loves the butterscotch pudding. Pretzels, that's pretty standard. And then your main course, sag chile with lamb. It's spinach and chickpea sauce flavored with lamb. Well, I guess because it's mainly spinach and chickpeas. So it will be flavored with lamb. Let's see how much actual lamb is in it. 20 grams of protein, 15 grams of fat, only 16 grams of carbs and five grams of fiber. It's not bad. It has sodium sulfite. So it actually has preservatives, sodium benzoate. You know, these things used to not have preservatives. They now have a three year shelf life, just like the standard USMRE. They used to always have just a one year shelf life. That's a pretty good looking spread for a single meal. All right, let's get the salad on your tray. Nice. Okay, let's first start off with heating up that sog chile. What I'm going to do, also going to heat up the butterscotch pudding. Living dangerously. I want to be quick, because I don't like putting this into the FRH anymore. You know, like down in with it, you'll see. Keeps the weird chemi water from getting all over the place. Before it gets too hot, just stuff that in there real quick. Notice they still have the boxes for these halal MREs. They don't have the sleeve. You take this sleeve, that's a fast acting FRH. Not lazy in the slightest bit. That's nice. What else is in this accessory packet? There goes the pepper. Two erroneous packs of sugar, probably for if you have tea or something, it's an option. They do not have caffeine in these. Salt, pack of matches, and a napkin, which is not in a regular MRE, which is pretty cool. Let's check out that tropical punch. Now this stuff. Nope, just smells like some really noxious and artificial fruit punch or Kool-Aid.
the shortbread cookie. Oh, I was hoping it'd be in one whole piece. Smells pretty fresh. That piece, I'll save that whole part for the butterscotch pudding. But this, let me try this out real quick. I'm kind of hungry. Mmm. Mmm. Wait. Well, it's kind of bland and, dare I say, not sweet enough. 15 grams of sugar, but there just isn't enough flavor. Not enough vanilla. Again, a bit bland and dry. I think it'll go much better with the pudding. The dry roasted peanuts. Yeah, nice little hiss. They just smell like some fresh, basic peanuts. You know, the kind you'd get on a coach flight, crammed in the center, and they give you a pack of these and pretend like everything's fine. Cranberry trail mix. Ooh, quite a bit of space for what they give you. Pretzels. Got a mild sweetness to it. It's a little sweet and salty with malt. Does have nice flavor and great crunch. Yeah, that's a nice side. You can add that to the main, which is probably ready in another five minutes. I'm going to let it sit here. Let's check it out now. Oh yeah, that's nice and warm all the way through. Looks like it's filled with vitamin A. Kind of tart. A lemon juice undertone to it. Right off the bat. With garlic. Look at that. Nice piece of garlic. Been a lot of things on this tray. That is dinner. Well, actually, it's my breakfast. And now the butterscotch pudding. That looks a little more normal. You know, I think heating up really does the trick. That just smells like some kind of caramel pudding. Not bad. Where do I start? It's good for this with that nice piece of garlic. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. It tastes nothing like how it looks. That lamb had a rich flavor and that's spicy. It's very spicy and let's add a little crunch couple of these. That's what it needs. It's a little bit mushy. The peanuts probably will add these too. Let's check them out on their own. Oh yeah, those are airliner peanuts. Extra dry, not bad, and fresh. Just add all that to this. It needs every bit of crunch. That's all it's missing. You know, extra fat, and crunch. The peanuts will give it. It makes it a more substantial main. I mean, this could be your little in-between snack, but you could mix the pretzels and the peanuts with the main, eat that on the go, and have this as a whole other meal. The dessert is like a whole other main. Ooh, nice dangling spinach. I mean, the flavor before was nice. The chickpeas are kind of mushy. They're like canned. 
Mm. The lamb is fairly substantial. That is the perfect crunch added. It's what it needs because the chickpeas are a little bit, you know, mushy. And the lamb has an interesting chew. You know, but it gets kind of chewy. Hmm. I didn't try this yet. Sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, nice. Raisins and almonds. I think the dried fruit is sweetened with the fruit juice or extra sugar. The fruit punch is awful and it's overpowering and it's just I think that stuff would I think it'd only be good if um, you treated water and the water tasted like water purification and dirt and it was murky and you needed some kind of coloring and strong flavoring to treat it. All right, let's try out this butterscotch pudding. Wow. This is the best part of the ration. This has such a definitive butterscotch flavor. It really tastes like a delectable caramel and like margarine almost. You can break this up in there. That's a gourmet dessert, ready to go. Hmm. Can't imagine how nice it would be having something like this anywhere far from home. This is one of the greatest MRE desserts of all time. And the shortbread cookie, it brings out every bit of that margarine and just overall cheap shortbread flavor of the cookie. Finish this off. Pumpkin seeds, golden raisins, cranberries, regular raisins, almonds and peanuts. Oh, and sunflower seeds. Save these for later. So this was the meal halal individual. I'll be checking a couple more of these out because there are definitely some menus in there that are interesting and worth giving a look. And some really good food. Interesting variety of components that are not in you know, your standard MREs. An excellent ration that definitely serves its purpose. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.